Hi, in this YouTube video, we're going to learn to play one of the most iconic figures in the clarinet repertoire, the intro to George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. The most important misconception about this piece is that the glissando is uh, facilitated by the fingers doing fancy stuff, when really it's the embouchure that controls most of the pitch things. The fingers are simply sliding in and off the keys um, as you go slowly up it, but the embouchure is going to control your pitch, it's going to control the duration of the glissando, and it's going to, it's going to dictate the end note as well. Um, so from the top it sounds like this. The most important thing you want to do when you're practicing this is to keep your jaw low and your tongue down. And if you keep that relaxed embouchure, that's going to help you uh, slide in between the two notes easier. Um, the other most important thing to remember is that between F and G, between A and B, you're not only oven covering tone holes, but there's also a pad that you need to slowly lift off of its setting. Um, if you lift it up too quickly, it's going to sound uh, not as smooth, and people are going to notice the two notes there. So between F and G, you want to make sure that you slip, lift that pad up slowly. And then between A and B, the same thing, because there's that pad there. Um, other than that, the other thing you want to practice when you're doing this is to start with smaller and smaller intervals, um, say seconds and thirds, before you practice the entire scale. So if you want to practice this, go up and down between, say, D and E to start with. Once you can play that well, try different intervals, like, say, between E and F. And then again, make sure to practice between F and G and A to B because that's where you have to slowly lift that pad up. As you get the intervals bigger and bigger, try thirds and fourths, so, so say between D and F. You want to practice going up and down as well in the gliss because going down is harder, but in the end, it's going to help you be able to go up quicker and it's going to keep it more stable as you go along. So if you want to practice, try going between A and G. That's a good one to start going down on. Once you're able to go up and down like that, really simple, try doing the whole thing, starting on D. And then if you want, put a little bit of vibrato at the end, and then the rest of it's pretty simple from there. Thanks for watching this YouTube video.